A 3 kilogram mass is attached to a vertical spring, and after it reaches equilibrium again, the spring has stretched a distance of 2.5 centimeters. What is the spring constant? And use the correct amount of significant figures. Again, we don't worry too much about that, but I'll just let you know, this has two significant figures. The zero counts because it's right next to the decimal point on the right side. So we thought enough about that measurement that we put in a zero there. And this one's a little easier, right? You have two significant figures there, a two and a five. So our answer should have two sig figs. And all of these do have significant figures of two. You don't count zeros after the number before the decimal place. But again, don't worry about that. We can cover that in some future physics course. So what do we have here? We have a spring just sitting here. Then we put a mass on it and the spring stretches. And there's the mass. And this distance here is the 2.5 centimeters. So let's look at what we want to do here. We have a free body diagram, okay, where what force is acting on this mass? Gravity, mg down, and since it's down, we give it a negative sign. And then the spring force is pulling it up. So kx is in the up direction, so it's a positive. It's not moving, so the sum of the forces is equal to ma. a is equal to zero, it's not moving. So you have kx equals mg, divide both sides by x to isolate k, put in our numbers, there's three kilograms, there's the acceleration due to gravity, and what is this 0 0.025 business? Well, this is 2.5 centimeters. We need it in meters. So you move the decimal place over two places and you get 0 0.025. And when you do the math, you get K is equal to 1176 newtons per meter. But which one of these answers is closer there with two significant figures? That would be here, 1200 newtons per meter.